Hey, this is another Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 3 mask review from the 1990 film Leatherface. This time it's a newcomer by the name of Peyton Patron. Peyton is a self-taught artist, mask maker. He uh, doesn't have a, an actual Facebook like a business page or a website yet. So if you want to contact Peyton, you can uh, look him up on his personal Facebook page to get in contact with him. Or you can just contact me, send me a message, and I can forward you to, uh, to how to get a hold of Peyton if you choose to, to buy one of these masks. Peyton came to me, contacted me, because he'd seen my website and my, my uh, reviews, and he knows I'm a huge fan. So he said, hey, I'm, I'm sculpting this Part 3 mask. I actually based this sculpt off of James Woodley's um, TCM3 stunt mask that you offered and he just asked me if I'd be interested in checking out his sculpt and the progress and I said send it over and then I liked what I saw and I said dude I want I want I want a mask when you're done so he hooked me up um, we'll go over this let me get it off here I like it the way he did the the straps is pretty cool. I hadn't seen anyone else do that yet. What he did was on one side he sent it through and then glued it and then it passes through the hole on the other side so you can when you cinch it up on your head or the, the head foam you can just tie it back in or tie it in a knot and those holes are reinforced with some latex or some rubber so it's not going to tear easily but you know you want to show some care because like with any latex mask, it's going to, or any mask period, it could tear if there's a hole in there. But it's pretty cool. I hadn't seen seen that done before. And it's good, real thick quality leather strap that he used too. Overall, like I said, he, he based this mask off of the pictures that I posted up of James's sculpt and in our final masks that, that I offered on my side of James's mask that... Uh, that he cast off of the original production used stunt mask and Peyton did a great job duplicating what he saw he's got a great great eye and a good attention to detail because all of the little creases and everything that was in the original stunt masks Peyton got a lot of that a lot of things that people um, might have even missed <clears throat> Again, it's, it's a good quality latex. It's probably a medium pull, not too thick, and it's not too light. The big laces here, they're sculpted in, which is nice. The smaller ones is probably, I think it's a nylon stitching that he used. And again, a great job on it. Went in once, sent it all the way through, and then came back and tied it in a knot, which is nice so you don't have each individual little... Um, piece poking through if you're going to wear it and it's not irritating on your skin and it, you can see on the back side it's hard to tell in the front but just how much stitching there actually is and it takes a lot of time for the for the time that it takes in this his price is, is very reasonable he's going to offer this the stunt this one he calls the KNB3 stunt because it is based off of the stunt mask and then he's also going to offer a hero version where the stitching will be more like the hero masks. Of course, the eyes and the mouth hole cut out a little bit bigger as well to, to resemble more of the hero mask. On the ears, I like how he did this. He sculpts, sculpted them and, and they cast, he casts them separate and then attaches it. It looks like he, he glued it and then also stitched it, which I hadn't seen that done on the ears before. I have another mask where the guy cuts or sculpted the bottom part here separate and then attaches it uh, with the lacing but Peyton didn't do that but I like how he did that on the ears that's it's pretty cool pretty neat uh, like I said a fair price for what he's asking he's new to the game so he's going to be coming up with a lot more stuff I know he's working on a nubbins bust and a couple other things but for this first outing to really, you know, kind of be offering masks, especially in, in the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre world. Dude, he, uh, he nailed it. He did a great job. This is one of the better sculpts that I've seen. And for a guy who's 
not known or, or new to this, um, yeah, he, the other guys are going to have to watch out for Peyton because, like I said, he nailed this sculpt. The sculpt is great. The paint, I'm not crazy about the paint. These, the, these parts here, the tannish, I don't mind, but something about the brown, brown there, his color choice, I'm not, I'm not too big on that. That's just my personal preference. Uh, it's great, a great paint job. It's just that color is just, to me, it just, it kind of bugs me. He did paint the rose on. I know he spent a lot of time and, and asked me if I had pictures of the rose. All we got is screenshots. No one really knows uh, what the rose look like other than the screenshots because none of the masks still have them. But he did paint it on, and I think he's going to offer that as an option. I could be wrong. That's on there. It, it's just like the one in the film, so he nailed it. That's about all all there is to cover on this mask. Like I said, Peyton did a great job. You're not going to be disappointed in this mask. I know I say that with every mask, but hey, I love every Part 3 mask, so <laughs> give me a break. But you won't be disappointed either. It's a, it's a great mask. Uh, hit Peyton up, you know, definitely, and, and watch out for him because, like I said, he's coming out. I know he's working on some more stuff, so I don't look for him to go away anytime soon. But there it is, the KMV-3, the stunt.